So, uh, following on Miriam's poem, I'm going to read a poem about an experience I had in London. It is 7 a.m. on a damp London morning, and I am caffeine and jet lag, waiting to get to the front of the line. One ticket to Waterloo? His eyes take in my appearance. You mean one ticket to Waterloo, please. He turns to his computer and mutters, don't they teach these parkies anything? I am Indian. He turns back to me and asks again, don't they teach you how to say please, wherever it is you come from? Yes, they taught me how to say please. Please rape and plunder my land, come into 3,000 years of religion and look at it like it is mystical voodoo, turn it into books and Hollywood movies like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, which portray most accurately your powerful and keen sense of colonial observation that all Indians eat monkey brains. Please tell me I need to speak this strange tongue more fluently than I speak in the language my grandmother used when she sold her jewelry to Gandhi's cause to ask you to please leave. Please, can I give up my freedom to strangers who conveniently change the names of our cities to suit their incapacitated tongues? Bengaluru to Bangalore, Chennai to Madras, Tiruvannandrapuram to Trivandrum. Only when it becomes fashionable to embrace cultural diversity, do Hatha Yoga in $100 Adidas track pants in heated rooms. Please appropriate me. Take it all. Culture, wealth, ideas, food. Can't you see we have plenty to spare? One quick thing, white boy, wherever it is you came from, didn't they teach you how to play fair? I think all these thoughts, but cannot answer him. What's the matter, he says. Can't you hear me? We're both speaking English, right? Didn't they teach you how to say please? I never did answer his question. He couldn't have understood my reply. We never were on the same page. See, we both speak English, him and I, but not the same language. Woo!